Jamal Nyaz here with a victorious Luke Riley. Forget fight of the night. That was fight of the year against Callum Parker. Late opponent change and you come in like that, like an absolute monster after getting rocked badly in the first round three times. Every time you was getting back up, yeah. you was teeing off to the body. I mean, you, you yourself have been saying that you don't feel like you was flowing as good. Yeah. You don't feel like your combinations were going off. I feel like there was I little bits where I was flowing and showing a bit, but then I was going. I was going back into one state and then, do you know what I mean? Like I was stuck inside doing that stuff and then I go into that sort of flow state of landing a few nice shots and then like, I don't know, yeah. I wasn't sticking to the, that's what I should have done, been in that flow state and just the pick it. Like I, I think I landed a nice right hand and I at one point yeah. got yeah. caught him. A lot of body shots. Um, I think I finally cheered up now as well after doing about 15 interviews I've stopped being so down on myself and yeah. I am one hard bastard as well. I didn't even know I've been to that fucking that many times, but I know there's going to be a lot of haters after that one as well. I probably gained a lot of fans, but a lot of people are going to be like seeing kinks in the armor, maybe. Mate, and forget about the haters, mate. Yeah. The, oh, damn. the, the yeah. crowd in there was absolutely yeah. ridiculous, wasn't it? Yeah, it was absolutely wild. Yeah, well, I'm just zoned in, so was they going crazy? Was they? It was going absolutely crazy, and you know, you said that the flow state kind of thing didn't yeah. feel like it was, it was just out of it. Do you know what I mean? But when you was in it, mate, yeah. it was absolutely ridiculous to yeah. watch. Like I said, the knees were coming. After the hooks, you were teeping. Yeah. You said you don't think you was kicking as much, but you, the teeping was setting up the hooks, yeah. and you was kneeing. You nearly dropped him with yeah. a knee. I don't think you realised that he went in for a takedown. He was badly There's hurt. A few times where I, like I normally have that killer instinct, and I, like even the corner was saying you've got like I could see him, but it was just like I, I don't know. I just couldn't finish the fight, lad. That's just I think that's what's like annoying me as well. How many times like obviously I, he, he must have had me hurt, obviously. But how many times like I had him hurt and I just couldn't finish the job, man. But, but the thing so is, him. what what we always hear when there's these young up and coming guys like yourself, you know, you're only 23 years old. There's guys that are coming in like yourself, absolutely starching people first, second round. And what coaches say is, you only learn more about yourself when you go up against someone that can actually take that power. Yeah. And you've gone up against someone like that, and you've also took their power and yeah. come through the other side. So from my perspective, it's all positives, yeah. and you've won some new fans in there. Exactly. It's a uh like they say, get the job done, a win's a win, move on to the next one and that is the most, the, the best experience I've ever had in my whole fighting career to be honest, so, and let's just say respects to Callum, like, uh, the fight's done now, he's saved the fight, he's coming on a week's notice, he's a he's a dog, I said you should get signed to Cage Royce but he's just, he's doing his own thing obviously out in America, so, fair props to him, but uh, yeah, I guess the saying continues, but slow it down a little bit, it's not a steam saying no more, it's just a, uh, Slow down a little bit, took a bit of coal out of it, lad, and uh, sit back and just round my game off, lad. I, uh, I'm, I'm not trying to, f yeah, just chill. Cause you, you, you were eyeing up the, the belt before wrong, this I'm fight. Not, I'm, not, I'm not down with myself, lad. I know I can, I'll beat everyone in this division. Like I know I will be the, I'll be the Cage Rally champion and move on to the, to the UFC in the next year's time. But just, uh, yeah, just focus on a few things. Focus on a few things before that. Your style is tailor-made for the UFC mate like yeah. you said you would have had about six hopefully bonuses they're on the main card now and they're like obviously I, um, I've got to chill but I think maybe they've seen that there you know like yeah we've got to pick this kid up in the future um, when the time's right so yeah like you said it before if these have all took place in the UFC you'd be about 300 grand up by this know, point wouldn't you I know that's <laughs> what I mean you need to bring bonuses to cage warriors so okay me and bring a little even if it's a couple of grand or whatever just maybe a couple couple for the night performance and knock out of the night that would be nice so yeah but the state of Liverpool obviously the boom that the sports had not just in MMA but in boxing you know we got the likes of Natasha Jonas yeah, flying the flag for the city obviously Paddy and Molly you're around them daily for me from my perspective the first time I saw you fight was in this building in April last year and it was absolutely awesome mate and, the fight yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely awesome yeah and right there I knew the fan reaction every, every time since I've watched you since you look like you're going to be the next superstar from that city you've, yeah. you've got everything you've got the look you've got the the power and you've just showed that you can go three round toe to toe war which yeah. the fans love it you might not love it but we love it as fans selfishly mate yeah I know I am a I guess I am a fan favourite with that fighting style but it's not not good for the brain to be honest so I don't want to be a cripple when I'm like 40 so I need to um, 
get on my back foot maybe a bit. I'm not throwing, I feel like I'm not throwing enough straight shots as well. Like my backhand's the best shot and I'm just not throwing it enough. Mm. Maybe I'm just going into that brawler style a bit too much where I need to be like, like Adesanya style, do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, like that's normally what I am, the, the low kick, the long shots, but um, yeah. The hype around you is, is crazy for your age, isn't it? Yeah. Have you stopped and looked around at that or are you just zoned in on your own journey? What's it like from your perspective? I'm zoned in, of course, but like you said, the hype of um, the hype I'm at for only six fights and the time I've been in MMA is it is quite big compared to a lot of people my age and at my stage. So maybe I have took that on board a little bit too much and thought like how many messages and comments and stuff I'm getting on a daily what I'm gonna do to people. Maybe I just need to like just take a step back and yeah it's all part of the fighter journey yeah, as well like you mentioned it's all an experience in the end of the day it's six fights man it's like I'm like this much into my career mm. so I'll, I'll look back at this and just l in five years time and laugh all night to be honest so yeah You've seen Paddy and Molly do it. Yeah, They've man. come through the other side of some really tough experiences, haven't they? Yeah. Um, just having guys like those around you, what's your relationship like with those guys and, and how much do they build you up as a, as a human being? Like Molly, Paddy, like big brother and sister. So uh, especially Paddy, he's like me, one of, like, since I've joined the gym, he's like one of my best mates, lads. So obviously I learn a lot, a lot of him, what he goes through. This sport, man, it's the, like, I always, the craziest sports, the craziest career you can you know, have. I don't know why half of us do it to be honest, but I guess that's the, uh, the, the the thrill of the game. It's mad, so yeah. I can see some absolutely huge nights for you yeah, in this man. sport, mate. I'm absolutely not. huge, and it, it's really exciting to see because yeah. everyone's seen the start of this journey, yeah. and you just it's need been to a crazy one or like already the fights have been in now, like six fights in, I've, like I've had me knockouts, I've had me good fights, so just carry it on and yeah. Just enjoy it, mate, and yeah, don't be I'm too hard on yourself I'm after that. I appreciate that. I'm gonna, uh, gonna try to see, watch a few clips now, and just yeah, try and cheer up a little bit. Good man. Well, well done. Thank you, bro.